Hello friends! In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw some owl babies inspired by one of my favorite books, Owl Babies. There is an awesome read aloud that I will link in the description, so check it out. This book is super fun. We love little Bill, Sarah, and Percy, but Bill just really misses his mummy, so I hope you enjoy this story. Go give it a read. What we're going to do is start with pencil and then trace with a Sharpie, then color in. We really want to focus on creating some texture using our lines and also giving our owl babies a cool background of these branches and leaves. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create a branch for these little babies to stand on. So near the bottom-ish of my page, I'm going to create one horizontal line. Notice it's not perfectly horizontal, it's a little bumpy, just like a branch. I'm gonna draw another one too, right underneath it, parallel. Not touching, but right next to, in line with. And there's your branch. Let's start with little baby owl, Bill, in the middle. I'm gonna use a little circle for his head, and it's a small circle, he's a small baby owl. And notice how I'm practicing first. All right, one, two, I'm ready. Three, is it perfect? No, does that matter? Uh-uh. Here's what I want you to do if you wanna change your circle head. Instead of erasing the line, readjust it where you want it to be change it right there on the page. Get a little more sketchy. If you want to work with it, edit it before you erase. If you just erase the lines you don't like, it can be hard to find the right spot. So use your mistakes as guides to where you want your lines to go. See how I'm adjusting this? Awesome. There you go. All right, let's add a little body. Now it's gonna connect right up here at the top of the head and go down like the letter U and it will touch the branch a bit. You can add wings with some curve lines. These wings are just gonna tuck right in to little baby owl bill. And the feetsies look like little W's with an extra piece on it. Kind of like that. Alrighty, you can make them bigger or smaller as you choose. Let's add some details to the face. What I wanna do is give my owl a little frame. So I'm gonna use these kind of candy cane lines. It almost looks like a, a heart-like shape, but notice how I'm really sketching lightly. What you're gonna do is start in the middle, go curve up and down. Curve up and down. You'll notice my pencil lines are very, very light. Let's add some eyeballs. Little Bill has big, big, big eyes. So I wanna be really cute with my baby owl. If you wanna trace a little marker cap or something, that would work really well if you held it there and traced it. Go for it. And then the pupil on the inside. I'm not gonna color that in, cause I'm gonna do that with my Sharpie later. And you can add little reflection lines if you want to, to make them super cute. For the nose or the little beak, I like to create a curvy sort of V. So instead of going straight down diagonal and straight up, you can do that, sure. But if you wanna add a little more detail, see how I kind of curve the edges? Feel free to try, feel free not to try. It's up to you, you're the artist. Let's add some texture to Baby Bill's belly. I like to add these wavy lines to show some feathery texture right across the body. Cool beans. Let's add another baby owl. How about Bill on the right? There we go. No, not Bill. Percy. There's Sarah, Percy, and Bill. I get it. I've read that story at least 50 times. Alrighty, Bill's right next door. Nope. Percy, sorry. It's like calling my students by their siblings' names. It happens a lot. 
Notice how I'm making Percy just a little bit taller than little Bill. That's cool beans. You can make them wider or shorter. It's up to you. I'm making Bill just a little taller. Show he's maybe a little older owl, just like you might be. A little older than your sibling? Maybe you're not. Cool beans. Let's add the face detail. Curve one way. Curve the other way. Now these eyes, I'm gonna make them just as round, but I want them to look in a different direction because what happens in this story is they're looking for mummy. When's mummy going to return? Bill is looking straight at you, at the artist, but I want Percy to look over in the other direction. So I'm just gonna make his eyeballs over here. His pupils are facing a different way. Yeah, they're facing that way. And this will make a little more sense when I color it in. Got the nose and some fuzzy wuzzy textures. If you wanted to add more texture, you could add little diagonal lines for some contrast. This is totally optional. I like the way it looks, so I think I'm gonna add some. You choose your texture adventure. Alrighty, Sarah's over here. She's the biggest owl. She's the big sister of the bunch. So let's make her a little bigger. Big head, bigger body. Her wing's gonna be tucked over here. And over here, we won't really see her wing. It's gonna be tucked behind her little brother. Notice how I skipped his wing right there. It's a good thing. All right, face detail. I'm gonna make hers a little lower to show she's a little different. It's nice to have some variety, right? And Sarah, I think I want her looking up. So start with the outline of your eyes and the pupil, that little center part of the eyeball will look up. Just trying something new. Who knows if it'll work? I don't, but it's cool beans. Texture for Sarah. Fabulous. Now, the next detail I want to add are the branches. Now what I'm going to do is create these diagonal lines all the way across my page, but I'm not going to touch my birds. I'm going to go around them, not through them. So watch how I do this carefully. I want to have a diagonal line going all the way down. So what I do is I go down, skip the bird, down, skip the branch, all the way to the edge any way you want. This one can go down, skip the bird, down, skip the branch, all the way to the edge. See how that works? Pretty fun. Now that I've added my branches, let's add some leaves. You can choose small leaves or bigger leaves. They're your branches. Just follow the line all the way to the edge. And we'll make these a little thicker when we add marker. Alrighty, now that I've finished my background branches and leaves, it's time to go over everything in my Sharpie. Feel free to use a thick and thin one, thick around the edges, maybe thinner on your details. It's totally up to you. I'll meet you back when I am all finished. Now, 
Now that my owls are completely sharpied, it's time to color in. I really like using a combination of markers and crayons to get the best textures. And it just gives it a little more intrigue when you use a variety of materials. I think it's kind of fun, but if you wanna paint this and you have paints, paint it. If you wanna use all markers, use all markers. If you wanna use color pencils, go for it. Take your time, color it in as you see fit. Now you can see I have a lot of neutral colors here, these beautiful browns and tans. I like using that to create different and deeper texture in my owls because that fuzzy wuzzy texture comes out really nicely with the crayons. And I don't wanna draw them just all one color because to me that'll look a little too flat. Now if you like that look, then that is awesome. I'm gonna go a little more detailed you do exactly what you want to do. I'm gonna start with my marker and then work my way through this with crayon. And there you have it, my finished owl babies. Officially, Sarah, Percy, and Bill. Again, I highly recommend you check out the read-along of this book, or read aloud, I should say. It's super fun, and the animation is amazing. Enjoy. I know this is challenging. There's a lot of different steps, but take your time and add your own special details as you see fit. And if you wanna start with just one little owl, baby, start with one. Take your time and go at your own Happy creating.